guys! So today's video is going to be a monthly favourites video and I know I haven't done one of these in a very long, long time so I'm just going to jump straight into it because I do have quite a lot of stuff to show you guys. So I'm going to start off with beauty and skincare products. Okay, so the first thing that I have on my list is my Mrs. Millie's Body Butter and this is honestly the best body butter I have ever tried and I'm a body butter lover, a connoisseur! I'm 100% that right word is not the right word that I've just used, but like I love body butter. I live for it I'm the kind of person who cannot stand any form of dryness like if I'm in bed I'm like dead asleep and my fingers feel dry. I will wake up I will wake up and I will go and get something to moisturize myself So body butter is like a life-saving thing for me, especially since I do have dry skin as well It's a tragic story for me. Um, but yeah, I've tried loads of different body butters But this is by far my favorite one and this is a Mrs. Molly's feel butter nourishing body butter with cocoa and it's a chocolate and mint one they do have a berry version. I think it's strawberries and raspberries or just raspberries or, or strawberries But I know they have a berry one, but this is oh, it's so so good as you guys can see I have pretty much cleaned it out I've literally just got like a tiny little smidge in there I know it looks like a tiny little smidge, but this little smidge will go a long long way I've been literally holding on to this small piece just so I can film this video I've been wanting to use it, but I'm like no they must see it first because I don't want to show you guys an empty tub But yeah, this is literally the bee's knees and it is 100% natural, no chemicals, none of that nonsense and it's so so good for your skin. I smell delicious, I feel delicious and it's overall just mm, a walking dessert. But yeah, I would 100% recommend this. I've got a few other products from Mrs. Millie's. I've got their lip balms, which I love. I've got a hair butter and a hair oil, which I love too and I've even shared them with my friends and they love them too so you guys should definitely check them out. I will link them down below. If you guys would like more details on any of the things that I'm showing you guys in this video then all you have to do is check all the links in the description bar below or go to my blog which is simonchowdy.co.uk and on there I will have all the extra details and all the links to buy where you can buy all these awesome things and I'll also have some discount codes. Mmm, yummy for you guys. But yeah, next up on my little beauty skincare list I have a face cleaner. My face cleaner I actually mean makeup remover I don't know why I said face cleaner <laughs> um, but yeah the face um, I was gonna say face cleaner again but the, the makeup remover that I have is Clinique's take the day off cleansing balm for those of you guys who don't know I have extremely dry sensitive skin so most things either break me out or give me loads of dry patches especially in winter my skin has literally been so scaly I feel like a snake or a lizard or a cool dragon just minus the cool part because I'm just scaly on the skin and it's not nice. But yeah, this really helps take the makeup off without like drying my skin out, so I love it. It is 100% fragrance free and like I said before, great for people with sensitive skin or with dry skin. It's fabulous. Next up, I have a highlighter and the highlighter that I have for you guys is Lush's Feeling Younger Skin Tint and it's supposed to reflect light to brighten the skin and honestly it is so amazing. I love it. I don't know why I keep doing different accents. I've been watching a lot of different TV recently and that's influencing my voice um, but yeah this stuff is a good stuff as you guys can see it's quite creamy so it blends nicely into the skin and it does have a bit of a gold glimmer to it which just looks so beautiful this is honestly one of the best natural highlighters that I've ever used and by natural I mean like very natural looking because when you put it on you literally look like the Sun has just kissed your face and you're like a beautiful ethereal fairy queen person and it's just really really magical but yeah my favorite way to use this is by putting it underneath my foundation I usually put it like you know on like the highlights of my face so like you know up here like here and here and like a bit on my nose and then I go over with my foundation on top of it and it just gives like a really really nice glow underneath I know some people do mix it into their moisturizer or into their foundation completely just to get like a nice overall glow which also really does work but yeah another great way to use this is by putting it on bare skin so sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put moisturizer on and then put this on the highlights of my face and then maybe put some concealer on and then I'm good to go out for a lovely day outside. The next thing that I have on my favourites are some lashes and these are Lashinary lashes in natural and I know right now you're looking at an empty box. Let me assure you there were lashes inside this box. There was just an incident which kind of ruined the lashes which is why I don't have them in this box anymore. Basically because these lashes are synthetic you can clean them and reuse them so that's basically what I've been using, doing with them. I've been wearing them loads and then cleaning them and usually when I clean them I put them on a shelf but for some reason the other day I decided to put them on my desk and I was like you know what I should probably move it to a higher service so it doesn't get damaged when it dries but I was like you know what no it'll be fine I don't know why I didn't listen to myself so yeah the next morning I wake up and I notice that one of my books because I've got like a stack of diaries next to it they basically fell and smushed the eyelashes so they kind of went like this and they look like little spiders so yeah I kind of ruined them with my own stupidity but luckily I actually wore them quite a bit so when they did go I mean I was sad but I wasn't super sad I think if they were new and I didn't get to wear them and they went like that I'd probably just cry 
but yeah, it was sad, but not as sad as it could have been. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, back to the actual lashes. These are Lash Nomi Lashes in Natural. They are 100% cruelty free and they are synthetic and they are amazing because you can reuse them and it's just, it's the best thing ever. Just make sure when you clean them, put them on like a higher surface or somewhere safe so they don't get damaged like I did. But yeah, Lash Nomi Lashes are by far my favorite lashes to use. I'm wearing them today. The ones I'm wearing today are in feline. They are very long and very, very beautiful. I love them. So yeah. I love these, they're amazing. Here is another picture of them like on so you guys can see what they look like. Anyway, now on to the last thing that I have in my little beauty section and that is this lip combo right here. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. It's a beautiful pinky yet brown lip shade and I absolutely love it and it's basically made out of these two different lipsticks. The first one is a Max Matte Lipstick in Taupe and the lipstick that I mix it with is a Medora Matte Lipstick in Photo. I love wearing these lipsticks on their own but together it's just it's a beautiful beautiful brownie pink combination. Next up we have clothing and accessories. So the first thing I have in this category is this awesome clutch bag that I got from Zara. It's this beautiful clutch bag in this gorgeous olive slash khaki green shade it is absolutely amazing and it's got this really nice thick leather strap with some gold detailing and a lovely chunky gold zip which you can't really see when you hold the bag like this but I kind of like it it's very, it adds a bit of pizzazz it is quite big like I could probably fit three of my faces in this bag alone like one two three or maybe two and a half faces I have a big face the next thing that I have is this gorgeous silk scarf that I got from Faith Bloom collection and this one is in the color khaki biscuit Mmm, ooh la la. I've also got this scarf in a few other different colours. I've got it in black, navy, and also in a charcoal grey, which I absolutely love. But, like, my favourite one definitely has to be this khaki biscuit one. I don't know why. I've sort of also been into nude colours recently, so I know I like it. Maybe it's a whole autumn thing, and even though it's winter, it's like, I want to feel warm, so I wear, like, warm colours. So for those of you guys who like awesome scarves, definitely check out Faith Boom Collection. They are amazing. Next up, I have another silky item, and it's this amazing Topshop bomber jacket. Oh, yes. This is what the jacket looks like. It's got this awesome ribbing around the collar. It's also got it on the sleeve and on the end of the jacket as well. And one thing that I love about this jacket is the fact that it's got a bit of an oversized fit. And also, it's got some funky pockets. Like, it's got, like, you know, your standard pocket over here, that you, which is actually pretty big. I can fit my iPhone 6 Plus in here. But it's also got this weird extra little pocket on the sleeve here, which at first I thought it was like a fake pocket, but turns out it's a real pocket. So I can fit like money and cards, and I can even fit like my old iPhone 4 in here, which is quite nice. Anyway, the next thing that I have for you guys is this awesome Daniel Wellington watch that I got from Daniel Wellington, obviously. I've been looking for a nice small watch with a leather strap for a very long, long time. Like I had one years ago, but then I lost it and I never managed to find one again. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, you, you I need. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's got this amazing rose gold detailing all over it which I love rose gold is like my jam and it's also got these really cute little stones on the inside to add a bit of jajazzle it's a really cute little piece that goes with absolutely anything that you wear and it just looks so classy and sophisticated like all the watches that I have are really nice and big and bulky which I do love but I really like small cute ones as well because that way I can lay loads of bangles on or wear loads of rings and it doesn't look too overpowering so this is a winner, you guys, a winner. Next up, I have these amazing shoes from Ego Official. They've got this suede fabric all around the shoe, which makes it look super, super classy. And at the end of the laces, they have these really, really cute little pom-poms. I think these shoes are super classy, but they're also a bit edgy with like these cute little pom-poms on the end. I love these shoes, they are amazing. Anywho, next up, we have entertainment. Now, usually in all my categories, I'm only supposed to have five items. However, because of my miscellaneous item category, I only have two things I decided to let myself have some extra ones in this category so prepare to listen to me babble about my favorite entertainment things okay so the first thing that I have for you guys is an album and it's got sevens mad and I absolutely love this so 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 much I recently just released a like a Christmas version with like a few extra songs on there which I have already ordered so I'm waiting for that to come and I'll show you guys in probably my next favorites video because Let's face it, I'm gonna love this. Anyway, so I got into GOT7 back when they released Just Right, so naturally when they mentioned that they were gonna release a new album with like a tougher, rougher image, I was like, mm, I'm on that. So I pretty much picked it up almost instantly and I've been in love with it ever since. My favorite song on here is If You Do and Tick Tick Tock. I also like Put Your Hands Up and actually, wait a minute, I like all the songs. There's no point in me trying to give you individuals, but If You Do is definitely my top favorite. And the rest are also super amazing. But one thing I really love about Korean albums is the fact that it comes with so much stuff. Like, I think the last, like, Western CD that I bought was McFly and that was like years ago and I paid so much money for it and it was literally just a CD in a plastic case with I think like a few lyrics and that was literally it so ever since that moment I pretty much didn't really buy CDs ever again because there was no real point to it I could just buy the music online and just be done with that but with Korean music they go all out it's amazing like look at this this was like I think 
£10.61 or something like that. And look how much it comes with. Well, first of all, it's got this amazing case and then you slide it out and you've got this little bad boy. And then you open this you've got the CD and then you've got loads of cool pages Ooh, okay I'm dropping everything and they've got all these amazing unreleased pictures that you can't find online and on top of that you get cute photo cards I'm such a fan girl I feel like I'm 12 all over again but yeah this is definitely my number one favorite right now I love it next up I have two TV shows that I have been loving recently the first one is Marvel's Jessica Jones which I've been watching on Netflix it is so so good like you guys know I am a huge huge Daredevil fan to the point where I bought the glasses, I even did some of my lookbooks and outfits based around Daredevil because I loved it so, so much. So, you know, when they announced that they were going to do um, Jessica Jones, I was just like, yes, I need this in my life. I haven't finished it yet. I'm about halfway through the season and so far I am loving it. For those guys who don't know what it's about, it's basically about a woman called Jessica Jones who used to be a hero but isn't really a hero anymore. She's got her own private detective company and she has super strength. And they've also got loads of other cool characters with like different stories and there's this crazy evil dude called Kilgrave who can control people and make them do whatever he wants just by telling them to do it and it's just it's this whole big thing and it's amazing I will warn you guys however it is very very dark like I thought Daredevil was quite dark but this is this is on a different level of dark like completely darkness like you guys might need to take a break after watching a few episodes because it can be quite intense at times so just a little warning about that but yeah I absolutely love that uh, the next show that I've been watching has ended and I'm so sad it's a Korean drama called Sassy Gogo. -Go. now originally I was watching a drama called She Was Pretty and I posted like a like a little scene from there on Instagram and everyone in the comments was telling me to go watch Sassy Gogo, -Go, and I was just like hmm what is this so I googled it the description did not sound good at all it sounded really, really weird and I was just like no I'm not into this but then because so many of you guys were telling me to watch it I was like you know what I'm just gonna watch it and oh my god I was hooked! So basically it's about school and it's about a group of kids that have the lowest grades and a group of kids that have the highest grades and them working together and I know that sounds very cliche, you know, the lower class working with the higher class, blah 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 blah, but trust me, it is so much more than that. I mean, there's bullying, there's abuse, there's self-harm, there's people using disabilities against each other, there's corruption, people paying people off and like, the extremes people go to try and beef up their, um, their portfolios and stuff like that, it's, it's crazy, but it's also so so good. The ending was quite nice, however I was still a little bitter because the person didn't end up with the person that I wanted her to end up with, so I was just like, oh, fine, whatever, I guess I'll have them in my dreams. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's actually a really, really good series. But anyway, next up I have three animes. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet because I, I know I'm going on for quite a while, but I can't help it. I get so excited. You guys think that I'm excited now? Trust me, I can talk about these things for, for months. For months, I will go on forever, so... I'm trying to control myself for you guys so I don't bore you. Okay, the first anime that I love is Haikyuu and oh my god, it is so so good. It's basically about a volleyball team. I didn't know I'd be into volleyball this much or even a sports anime, but oh my god, it literally has me on the edge of the seats and like on the edge of the seats, on the edge of my seat. And there's so many amazing different characters and just ah, oh, everything is so so good. I originally watched it because so many people on Tumblr were talking about it and then once I watched like one episode, I was hooked. It's very light and very fun. I mean, there are those moments where it's a bit angsty and sad and like, you know, real I guess but overall it's very fun and happy and chill and it's just my ultimate favorite literally every Saturday I'm there waiting on my laptop wait for the, waiting for the episode to go up and I'm just like yes thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and I sing the song in my head but yeah that is the first anime the second anime I recently got into is called Naragami oh my god this has two seasons and it is the best thing I have ever seen it's basically about gods and phantoms and I think that's all I can really tell you guys without giving much away but it's so so good like some of the characters are just amazing and the character development is just so beautiful and just ah oh, I love it so much my base my base the last anime they have is pretty intense and brutal and very BAM like fighty fighty in your face and it is attack on titan and it is awesome all my friends have been watching Attack on Titan for ages and they've been like reading the mangas and stuff like that and they always told me to watch it but I never really had the time to get into it but recently I did and I'm in love. It's basically about titans and titans are basically like these big giants that eat humans and some of them have more, ab they're called abnormals because they have more powers like some of them can disappear, some of them have like super speed, some of them are intelligent, blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, it's about these titans that have like took over the world and almost pretty much made it extinct but then there's a portion of humans that are still remaining and they're fighting against them and some are high and about it's just it's, it's really really good it's like a war between humans and titans and humans trying to learn more about the titans and you know where they come from because no one really knows where they came from they just sort of 
happened, then pretty much wiped out almost all of humanity. But yeah, I would 100% recommend it to any of you guys out there who love action and gore and like fighting. Like, it's so, so good. It can be quite intense at times, and it can also get quite dark at times, but I really like it. It's super awesome. But yeah, that is my fangirl moment over. I'm gonna try and push my fangirl self to the back of my head because I don't need her right now. Now I just have to move on to the last category, which is miscellaneous items. So for my miscellaneous items, I have two things. The first one is this awesome lint roller from Ikea. Actually, both my things are from Ikea. Um, but yeah, this lint roller is the bee's knees at lint removing. If you guys wear black clothing, you know that you will literally need to lint roll yourself every two seconds because lint likes to attract black clothing. What? Lint likes to attack black clothing. I don't know why, just, it always seems to do that. So literally every two seconds, because I wear black a lot, I'm just like, roll, 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 roll everywhere. I've tried lint rollers from pretty much everywhere. However, the IKEA ones are the best. They're super strong, but they don't damage your clothing, because I've had some that are super strong, and they actually, like, like pull, like, threads completely out of your shirt, and it just ruins them completely. But with this, it's very good. It takes off all the lint, and without being too harsh, it's very lovely. And they do also sell, like, refillable packets so you can just like buy these things and stick them on and i'm pretty sure this is fairly cheap i can't remember how much it is maybe a pound or two pounds it, it's pretty cheap and it is the bees knees at cleaning the last thing that i have in my favorites is also from ikea and it's this amazing throw it is beautiful one side is super furry with like this cool sort of weird design on it and on the other side it's plain and brown now originally this was supposed to be a decor piece like no one would sit on it no one would touch it it literally sit on the end of my bed to look pretty and then when it was time to go to sleep i would literally fold it up and put it on my desk and just leave it there but recently it's gotten really really cold and the other day i was trying to read a book and i was freezing cold like nothing would warm me up so i saw this little fur thing and i was like you know what i'm gonna break my rule and i'm gonna wrap it around me and i did and oh my god it was bliss it was bliss like literally this was like a mini heater and it's not it's not even an electric blanket it's just a regular throw and it's so so warm i absolutely love it and now it's my snuggle blanket and i probably need to get another throw for decoration because this is now just my snuggle blanket i actually got some baked beans on it the other day and it was very very sad but yeah guys that brings us to the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was helpful for you guys if you guys have any favorites whether that's makeup related beauty related clothing related or even entertainment related or miscellaneous related please let me know your favorites down below because i would love to check out some of the stuff that you guys are loving too and remember you guys can follow me online on social media at simon smiles like on instagram tumblr twitter snapchat all the social media accounts i pretty much have them all and if you guys like more details on any of the things you've seen in this video or if you like discount codes then go to simonchowdery.co.uk for all those extra awesome details but yeah, that is the end of the video. I feel like I've talked for a century. This is gonna take me literally 10 years to edit because I've talked so much. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.